Hi, I'm Mike Robichaud from Long & McQuaid. I'm going to show you how to change a string on your Stratocaster. Pretty much all Stratocasters have this access window in the back plate. Uh, if it lines up with your trem block, then it's real easy to just change the strings. Uh, but if, depending how your guitar is set up, it may not line up. Uh, you can manipulate it a little bit using the trem arm and try and get it to line up, but often it's uh, easiest to just remove these six screws and take the plate off. The first step is to remove the old string. So start by winding all the tension off. You never want to cut a string under tension. Remove the old string. Feed the old string out. And remove it like that. We'll get our new string out. Careful as you uncoil it. We'll bring it in through the back of the trim block here. Now sometimes the, uh, the string can get a little bit perched uh, or snagged as you're trying to pass it through. Uh, if that happens, just back it out and pass it through again carefully. You never want to try and force the string through. It can get jammed in there. So bring it all the way through. You want to make sure that that ball end goes right down in, doesn't get perched on the edge of the trim block. You want to go right down in and seat nicely. You can bring it up to the headstock. There's a number of different ways to uh, install strings at the headstock. I'm just going to show you the absolute easiest way to do it. So the first thing is to align the post so that you can pass the string straight through. Now it's important that you get the correct number of windings around the post, which means that you have to get the correct amount of slack in the string before you start winding. Now for the most part on the three bass strings, you want to have uh, about two, two and a half windings. And on the treble strings, it's good to have a little bit more. Four, and five windings is okay. So to measure the slack, you can use the fingerboard. Now this is a treble string, so I'm going to measure it back about two frets. So I hold the string nice and snug, grab it at the nut, and draw it back two frets. And if I were doing the bass strings and I only wanted about two windings, I would just draw it back one fret. But for the treble strings, I'll draw it back two frets. That gives me lots of slack. It should give me about four or five windings. So now, grip the string with my pinky and my ring finger and use my index finger to control it and give it some down pressure. I can let go with my left hand, making sure I keep the string in the same place, and start winding up. And you want to make sure that you're winding all the strings in the same direction so that they're coming from the treble side of the headstock and going around the post. You never want them entering the post on the base side of the headstock. Keep winding. Now this part's important. You want to make sure that all of the windings are going down and that they're underneath the tail here. This extra tail uh, of the string here should be the, the top part, the top, and uh, all of the windings should stack neatly below that. So you keep downward pressure on it. You don't want any loose loops or you don't want the string crisscrossing or anything like that. All the windings should just stack nicely below the tail. Now most Fender guitars are going to have a string tree like this on them. Sometimes there's two. Uh, once the string's starting to get tight, you want to place it underneath the string tree and then place it in the nut slot here. And once it's tight enough that it can actually produce a tone, you can tune it up the last little bit and give it a gentle little stretch to make sure everything's seated nicely. And you can clip off the tail. Good to leave a couple millimeters extra there. You can bend the tail up and out of the way just to keep it from poking your fingers while you're tuning. Get your tuner out. Bring the string up to concert pitch. Well, that's all there is to restringing your Stratocaster. I'm Mike Robichaud for Long & McQuaid. Thanks for watching.